I want people to see this show and go, damn, I wish I was Latinx. I'm John Leguizamo, and this is a first look at Leguizamo Does America. <laughs> Miami is, is beautiful, it's hot, it's so international. It's the hub of Latin culture from South America, the Caribbean, Mexico, and the United States. It's where all of Latin culture meets, like all of it, and mixes. It's an incredible Petri dish, an experiment that's happening there. All the South American intellectuals, entrepreneurs are coming there. All of the, the media is there. And, and the culture is so rich and vibrant, inventing all kinds of new trends. And so I wanted to go there and see it for myself. What surprised me was that uh, how many Spanish speakers there are in Miami and how that culture is thriving with comedians, artists, painters. There's so much culture happening. I mean, it, it was a dead city for a long time, I, I gotta say, till Latin people really took over and brought the best out of it. Miami Cubans have mastered the art of staying true to their roots and traditions, especially when it comes to their cafecito. You know, I'd heard great things about this small family-owned Cuban coffee shop just down the street from Domino Park. So guess what? I'm meeting Ernesto, Juliet, and Judith to find out what makes Cuban coffee so damn good. Since we were in Cuba, we always wanted to have our own business, but there it wasn't possible to have your own private business. Right. So this was the Cuban-American dream to own your own place. We came here only nine years ago, yeah, yeah. and we, here we go. Yeah. We came here to Miami. That's like the perfect place right, to settle right, right. because it's one of the biggest Latin neighborhoods in the whole country. The new American dream, uh, because the old American dream was total assimilation. And obviously it doesn't really work for us Latin people because we can't totally assimilate because we're brown, we're indigenous, we're black, we're mixed race, and we're not white. It was easier for white groups that came before to totally assimilate, but we can try to totally assimilate, but we're still gonna be rejected and glass ceilings uh, tokenism, quotas are always working against us. So the, for us, the best way to, to have our American dream is to keep our old culture and take on the new culture because you don't have to give anything up to have the American dream. You don't have to give up your, yourself to succeed. Miami's changing every day, especially in the Wynwood Arts District, which is known as Miami's creative and cultural hub where art is literally everywhere. And guess who had a huge part in making it the hot spot it is today? Oh, that's right, Latinos. I know, you saw that coming, didn't you? Luckily for us, Dominican artist Evoca is out doing his thing today. I painted about the community. Before, when I started painting, uh, I was doing a lot of political work. And then I used to just watch a bunch of documentaries about stuff happening around the world, people starving. Inspired by community figures like Salvador Allende, Roberto Clemente, and Jackie Robinson, Evoca's early work protested injustice. So I started doing these drawings of these starving kids, and I started putting them all over my neighborhood. Somebody saw them and was like, you need to do that in Wynwood. It was really great to work with Elio, this, this incredible graffiti artist, muralist. And, and, and to let me touch his work and paint on it, it was incredible, but I think he erased it after I left. I'm pretty sure he did. Miami is known for a lot of things. Comedy is not one of them. But if Venezuelan-born George Harris has anything to do with it, it's gonna change pretty fast. The show sells out weekly, and every word is in Spanish. What is it about your comedy that hits with so many people, man? And every time the people come to the show, they feel the same. They like to hear the stories about how somebody else immigrate here, how to buy a car, how to f find a job, uh, how you miss your family. Meeting George Harris, who's a huge success in Miami and does his comedy only in Spanish, he's hilarious, but he can survive in Miami doing only Spanish, which is incredible, you know. I've tried to do comedy in Spanish, it ain't, it ain't easy. I can do it in English, but you know, Spanish is not that easy for me, but it shows you the, the mass migration and the cultural hub that Miami has become. I mean, it, it, it's starting to influence all of Latin culture through America and the world.
Dominoes, yeah, it's a pastime in many Latinx cultures, especially for the older generation. Yeah, I know, I get it. That's me, yeah. <laughs> and also, it's just fun as hell. Mire, ¿y, y por qué esto es yeah. tan importante para la gente cubana? ¿Qué es la, ¿Por qué es tan importante? Este es el deporte nacional. Oh, <laughs> Yo creía que el deporte era hablando mierda. No, <laughs> no, eso, 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 eso está incluido. Yeah, yeah, that's included. Hey. Oh, yeah. Hey. Cuidado, go, Willy. No, no, I ain't done, I ain't done, yeah. I got beat, yeah, playing dominoes in Domino Park. Because those guys, I mean, that's all they do. I mean, I do other things. I have, I have other sidelines and hustles. I don't got my domino game up to speed. Family structure is everything in, in, in every Latin country. That's why we Latin people have so much more in common than we have in, in, in differences. Because family in, for Puerto Ricans, Colombians, Dominicans, Cubans, Mexicans, Central Americans, South Americans is everything. And we bring that to America. And we bring that to all our relationships. That sense of loyalty, that sense of responsibility, that sense of care for others. And all these little rituals that enhance that. The, the sharing of coffee, the domino playing, the parties, going to all these big parties together, meals together, uh, rituals of making dinner together. I mean, we keep that alive. We bring that to America, which became very nuclear family and isolated. And we bring back the extended family. Hey, thanks for watching. You can catch the full-length episodes at 10 p.m. on MSNBC and the next day on Peacock. Hey, it's going to be legit. I'm telling you, it's going to be fire.